yesterday was storms and today's beautiful. We're in Little Rock, Arkansas. This actually right where I'm standing is where I, uh, I shot the, the clip of one of the things that we hate about RVing when the rain was just pelting the crap out of me. Um, we'll put a link up here if you want to go watch that video. Um, I know that came out several weeks ago, but you know, because we're doing the collaboration with those other channels, uh, we were on a timeline for that. Now we're back on, on our regular scheduled track. And um, so I wanted to show you around the, the RV park a little bit, but I just wanted to say this is a pretty cool spot even though it's not in a great neighborhood because i mean right outside of our rv we have the view of this bridge which is which is awesome it's not like a super awesome bridge or anything but but it's nice to be right on the arkansas river view of the bridge the barges are out here and they're doing construction up there on the freeway which is awesome because i've never seen them use barges before for construction which is great because it doesn't clog up the roadway up there they don't have to stop traffic to have all of their equipment up on the bridge. They have all their equipment down here, which is very cool. Um, the uncool part was that they're doing construction and it rerouted us on the way we had to come into the RV park. But this is the downtown Riverside RV park in Little Rock, Arkansas. One of the other cool things is this bridge over here has a pedestrian crosswalk all the way across it. So at some point while we're here, we'll probably walk across that and uh, take you along with us because I'm sure that there's re really cool views of the uh, of the river and of the city because the skyline is right over there. Um, even though the construction is a little bit in the way, I'm sure that, that the views up there are pretty cool. So hopefully we'll get a chance to take you up there with us. Today we're gonna go and I don't know what Leslie's got planned. I think we're gonna go do like a, um, I think it's a submarine and a tugboat thing we were going to go to the uh to the bill clinton uh library and museum oh, for only for one purpose because <laughs> i wanted to take a picture of me at the desk in the oval office with leslie underneath the desk we were even going to stop at like a 7-eleven get like a cigar and but it's a bust because you have to have um proof of vaccination which we don't have so uh, we can't go do that, but we will take you along today and and go and see the submarine and the tugboat and hopefully that's interesting stuff Can we go now? I've been ready <laughs> What are you talking about? I'm never allowed to film until you're like got lips on You just put pants on like five minutes ago. Well, I want to if I'm gonna sit on the couch I want to be comfortable. <clears throat> you're not comfortable in jeans? No No, well, I'll take them off then <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> I mean, it's more comfortable. I, I sit balled up. I like to ball up. You can't ball up in jeans. All right, we're going to this. I'm, I'm, I'm ignoring all that conversation. Because I sit comfortably in jeans. All day. I don't think I ball up, per se. You don't ball up. I ball up on the couch. So that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> I think you just like saying ball. <laughs> Anywho. So we're going to a maritime thing. <laughs> a maritime museum. Maritime museum. Which I think museums use loosely because it's not like a museum. It's not like a building. It's a boat, a sub, and a tugboat. Yes. From World War II. Okay. I didn't read anything about this at all. Which I normally will read like some stuff, but I didn't read anything. They bookend the World War II, these two vessels. Okay. <laughs> well, Leslie screwed up again. It's always me. Maritime thing's closed on Thursdays. It's closed most days. Yeah, it's only open on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And half a Sunday, yeah. So... Today's Thursday, so... We'll go tomorrow. We'll go tomorrow. In the meantime, we wanted to go out and do something. Yeah. It's a beautiful day after the storm. And so they have this place called the Old Mill. Yeah. I know nothing about it, but it looked pretty cool. We almost have the place to ourselves. There's one little group over here, but it's not a huge place, but very no. scenic. Very picturesque. Yeah. So we're going to take some, some yeah. pictures out here and post them up on our Facebook and our Instagram. and. Um, it's almost fairy tale like. Yeah. I love it. 
we will <laughs> record a little bit for here on YouTube, but um, for the most part, probably just be pictures on Facebook, and Instagram. So if you're not following us on Facebook, or Instagram, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> Get your act together. <laughs> it's in the description of the video. Just go down there and, and do it. Just click it. God. Quick and painless. <laughs> <laughs> then you can go see all the pictures from the old mill. Yeah. But I'll shoot some video for you anyway. Because I'm that kind of guy. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> Well, not a ginormous place. No. By a lot, but. What a beautiful place. Awesome place, man. I just, I enjoy filming and I enjoy taking pictures anyway. Yeah. So for me, this I could spend all day place. out here just yeah. taking pictures. Yeah, there's not a bad view. Leslie has some fun facts for you. Fun fact. Fun fact. This is the setting of the opening scene to Gone with the Wind. That's insane. Yeah. I had no idea. I was just looking for something to do because the maritime thing was closed and this looked like a pretty cool place. The pictures online looked cool. So This is a grist mill and I had to look up what a grist mill was. And a grist mill is a cereal grain ground into flour mill. And of course Leslie is like, oh my god, could you imagine wedding photos here on the bridge in front of the thing? The oh my god, it would be the best photos ever. Yeah. Uh, like so. if I could replicate our photos. This is where I would do it. Um, our wedding photos were taken at the, uh, the church. Yeah, at the church. St. Robert, Missouri. <laughs> Not as picturesque. <laughs> no. Not I think even we even close. took, ha, I even remember we took a part of Leslie's dress and flapped it over the little step to hide the, there the was outlet. A power cord. The power outlet and yeah. power cord. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is way like way 180 back. from our <laughs> wedding pictures. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> You're gonna fall. Oh! <laughs> Well, we made it over to the, what is it? Arkansas Inland Maritime yeah. Museum. I was trying to read the sign. <laughs> <laughs> I knew maritime. Yeah. I had that word down. Got that. I've been crushing that. Yeah. There is a submarine here from World War II. And a tugboat. And a tugboat from World War II. It's the USS Razorback is the sub. Well, we're in Arkansas. Why wouldn't it be the Razorback? <laughs> but it's a beautiful day uh, for outdoor activities. So we're yes. going to go inside a submarine. <laughs> going indoors not a beautiful day <laughs> sounds like something we would do <laughs> yeah um now i have no idea what to expect so um but we'll take you along and hopefully it will be fun yeah i learned coming through the front 
that there were 52 submarines lost during World War II. That's a lot. They couldn't find them? No, no I don't think they mean that kind of loss. Like they <laughs> oh. veered off course or something. <laughs> like but. they got sink, sank, sinked, sank. <laughs> I'm having a stroke. <laughs> they got sinked. Yeah. <laughs> You know what you're doing? Yeah. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could fly down it. I'm not good, but I could. I would love to see you fly down it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we went on the uh, tugboat. Yep. And we went to the museum. The museum was very cool. Very interesting. They had pieces of the USS Arizona in there, which was very, very cool, cool. Um, to see pieces of the Arizona, which that was the ship that took the biggest hit yes. and the most casualties at Pearl Harbor. And so they had memorabilia. They had a piece of the mm -hmm. hole. They had a piece. They had a clock. Okay. Um, a lot of the stuff in the museum we couldn't show you because it's all behind glass. Yeah. Major glares. Can't really see. Mm -hmm. But we're getting ready to go on to the Razorback. Um, what I did want to point out, one of the, one of the most interesting things to me oh, God. in the museum what? Was a styrofoam cup. Oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because you see this little, and I'm like, oh, look, it's a little shot glass. But it's not a little shot glass. It at one time was a regular sized styrofoam cup. Yeah. It was taken, cup. yeah, it was taken down to um, 1,300 feet below Plus, sea yeah. level under the water and exposed to pressures of almost 600 pounds per square inch. And so that's. That's the cup, but it just smashed it down. She just compressed it. <laughs> it is the cutest thing. <laughs> you make that look so easy. I, well, I'm sure. <laughs> You can't touch anything in here. No, I don't touch anything. The whole submarine is actually still operational. Yeah. So all this stuff still, does still works. <laughs> but it's very difficult to not want to touch stuff. Yeah, especially for you. <laughs> especially for you. I wonder what this does. It's this stuff. <laughs> Oh man, that was really cool. Oh, that's cool. It was so hard not to touch stuff. It was, and I have to say, even for me, it was a little tempting to want to. You want to touch everything. When somebody tells you you can't do something, that's when you want to do it the most. So many buttons yeah. and levers and gadgets and gauges. Yeah. You just oh, want to push it. Just yeah. Pull it. <laughs> Twist it. Bop it. It's like a bop. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool information though. We couldn't Very vlog a cool. lot in there because it was a guided tour and there was other people. We wanted to be like nice and stuff. Yeah, courteous to others. Ten dollars a person to get on board and do the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, Seven fifty if you're military. So that's good for us. Yep. Um, interesting facts. Which Very cool stuff. I thought that this 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 the Razorback is the submarine. That's the most interesting one. The one we went on the tour of, and that vessel sank eighteen Japanese. Um, vessels yeah. during World War II. Mm -hmm. So she was a badass. Yes, she was. <laughs> she was kicking ass and taking names.
still running missions all the way up into 2001. One, I believe you said. Because after uh, she got done fighting in World War II, yeah. which I didn't know, she fought in Vietnam, Vietnam, off the coast of Vietnam, picking up downed um, pilots and stuff. Yes. Uh, like two combat um, cruises mm -hmm. in Vietnam. And then they were going to decommission her. Well, they did decommission her through the U.S. military, the U.S. Yeah. Navy. And we handed her over to Turkey. Yeah. She fought five more war cruises with Turkey against the Soviet, Soviet. Union. Yeah. Still survived. Yeah. And then went to the junkyard, and I guess they found uh, the North Little Rock Council found out found that she was in the junkyard. So they brought her here and yeah. docked her here on the Arkansas, and this is where she sits, and you can come tour her. Very cool. Very interesting. And, and the, the lifestyle on board of this thing. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, yeah, I couldn't do it. There's no, no possible way. No. I'd go crazy. The one thing that struck me the craziest was the lack of showers on board. Yeah. They would <laughs> they would share a sink of water, like three or four dudes would share a sink of water to like wipe themselves to off. To sponge bathe. Like once a week. Yeah. And you got like 90 dudes aboard this ship <laughs> for like three to four months during war cruises. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, if you didn't get to shower, you got the occasional sponge bath. The other thing that I thought was cool because I'm medical. Oh yeah. Is that they, where they ate, the galley, yeah. was also the surgical Labor. table <laughs> in the event that they needed to do a surgery. Yeah. And they did on board of this do amputations back in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. They did an appendectomy. Yeah. And at, they, what he said was, the tour guy said, the appendectomy was done like right before a, a, a meal. Yeah, he said like two two to three hours later was dinner on yeah. that table. Do had appendicitis on board, no way around it. You gotta do the, the surgery. Yeah. Did the surgery, cleaned it all up. Two hours later, everybody's eating chow. <laughs> right there where that dude just had surgery. <laughs> That's crazy. Ew. <laughs> 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 All right, we're not done yet. We're gonna take you on that um, pedestrian bridge over there by the uh, by the RV. Well, I told you that we were going to bring you up onto this bridge and show you the views from up here. It's very pretty. It's nice, man. Yeah. We didn't have actually seen that side yet, yeah. other than coming up here just now. Because our view from down there in our RV park, you can't really see that side of the river. Yeah. But you can see all the skylight. You can see uh, Simmons Bank Arena over there where they do like big events and have concerts and stuff like that. And then you got I-30 right there. Uh, this is the pedestrian pedestrian bridge yeah. uh, where people can walk and bike and whatever. And I think there's some stuff on the other side of the river too over here. Yes. The market's over there on that side of the river. Yes. And the, the library. And, uh, but hey, we, we did, we were strategic this time because we didn't try to do everything in Little Rock right. all in one stay. Right. Because we know we will probably come through here at some other point in our yeah. journey. And we didn't want to do it all in one shot. So we left some stuff to be done. Yes. Which we have screwed up and not done in the past. Yes. <laughs> and then repeated a visit and like, what well, are we do? Yeah, what are we going to do now? We 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 yeah, I did everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's so, crazy. So we're anyway, learning. but we did have a good time mm -hmm. in Little Rock. There is more to do. Yeah. We'll do that next time. Mm -hmm. But for the stuff that we did, we hope that you enjoyed hanging out with us. The RV park was not bad at all. No, it's very We were here nice for a park. week. It was just over 200 bucks for the week. 
Um, it's not, you would think that it would be super um, noisy, but it really wasn't that bad. No, it wasn't. The, the road traffic is is not almost non-existent yeah and every once in a while you'd hear like a little tugboat horn or something yeah but, but that those are few and far not too bad no anyway if you're in little rock go to the submarine go to the old mill yeah stay at the downtown <laughs> riverside rv park yeah and uh enjoy that's it that's <laughs> it from little rock that's right and and walk the bridge Go for a walk on the bridge. Why not? We get our steps in today. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know, right down there in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. We're headed to my hometown now yeah. to see the fam. Oh, Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Here we come. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye.